Hello there guys, Coast Shell here, Donkster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at the Blackpool Central development as public consultation is underway. The first public consultation will be underway uh, for this Blackpool Central development. Obviously, we did a video about two years ago. I can't believe it's two years ago, man. Uh, on this development, you can go check out, uh, out that. I have put it in its own playlist for the Blackpool Central development. Uh, so you can go check out that playlist that linked at the end of the video. And obviously, you can find it on the channel as well. Uh, but we're going to talk about the information via Theme Park Portal's article on this and share my thoughts on the concept art we're going to share in this video. So you can see me behind one of the concept arts already. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, but for now, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Click the case bar so you never miss another video. We're on the road to 4,000 subs by the end of the year and 1 million views, so please let's hit that. Also, guys, go in the description down below for social media links and also the Google Forms link to submit your own video ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the first public consultation on the new concept art for Blackpool Central's brand new development. So via Theme Park Portal, by the way, the link for that article will be in the description down below. Uh, we reported on Blackpool Central, a new project which is aiming to bring a new £300 million world-class leisure destination to Blackpool's famous Golden Mile. The proposal has moved one step closer to reality as an official website has been launched. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well, alongside the opening of the public consultation process. Now, the project will aim to create up to 1,000 jobs with an annual spend of the attraction of £75 million. It will transform the former Blackpool Central Station site, which was once the busiest train station in the world, and includes dining and le leisure facilities, as well as a new indoor theme park see all the concept art whizzing around on your screen. Uh, now, of course, public consultation is now opened, and if you live in the Blackpool area, you can find out more on the Blackpool Central website. The project has been buoyed by support from Blackpool Council and other regional bodies, and the respondents have until the 26th of May to be submit their thoughts to the consultation process. The leader of Blackpool Council, Councillor Lynn Williams, said, We can't underestimate the difference that this high-profile, game-changing development will make to Blackpool's tourism offer and the boost it will provide to the town's economy. After working hard behind the scenes with developers, Nikal and Media Invest Entertainment, we are delighted the project is now at the planning application stage and poised to transform Central Station Car Park in the next few years. The project represents one of the largest investments in Blackpool for many years, estimated to attract an additional 600 thousand visitors to the town as well as the new indoor theme park including the uh, massive new flying theater the second new flying theater in the uk behind the one at legoland windsor this year uh, so as well as the new indoor theme park the project also promises a new major public square for live events such as music concerts light shows sporting events and markets with pedestrian links to the rest of the town There'll also be new hotels, uh, restaurants, and a food market, as well as a new 1,300-space multi-storey car park. The project has received government funding, and £8 million of this is earmarked for the move of some existing buildings to free up space for Blackpool Central. Now, of course, this is a very, 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 very exciting development, and I personally really can't wait for this to go ahead. I really can't wait for more on this to be revealed in terms of the type of uh, attractions uh, that we're scheduled to experience uh, throughout this particular uh, investment. Obviously, we know about the Flying Theatre. We know, we know about that. We knew about the Flying Theatre before. Um, we know we know sort of different um, details about that. Uh, the major attraction is still known as Chariots of the Gods, and Blackpool opposition leaders have condemned seems a bit dated. Uh, so maybe we're not looking at the Chariots of the Gods theme anymore, but we're looking at a different theme. But uh, the Flying Theatre is still one of the major attractions as part of this development. Uh, now, obviously, there's a brief clip of a roller coaster involved on the Blackpool Central website video, uh, which I'm going to put on your screen right about now.
there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is looking at Blackpool Central and the new developments and new concept art as part of the first public consultation on the way. Now, of course, you did see that 34-second promo video for the Blackpool Central development and some of the things we could be seeing and expect to see in this development, including many stuff for the inside theme park, the indoor theme park of the development. Now, there were some big things that I spotted, and I'm sure many of you spotted uh, in that promo video. Uh, we saw Food Loop, aka the roller coaster restaurant. So that says to us the Food Loop concept is going to be in this development. We saw VR. Uh, obviously, I'm not the biggest fan of VR, but if it's not for a roller coaster, then I'm in. Um, we saw a roller coaster. We saw that. Now, obviously, uh, it looked. It looked. This. I might be seeing things, but did I see two different coasters? Because there was one car on top of the track, and then there was another shot looking underneath at an inverted coaster, like an inverted power coaster by Matt Wright, it's like the the Arthur ride from Europa Park. So. I might be wrong here, but are we looking here at a family sit-down coaster and a Mac inverted powered coaster with some theming going on? Might be wrong, might be completely off the mark, but it's just what I saw. Um, we also saw we saw the rock climbing wall, we saw the go ape, we saw the zip line, we saw the massive flying theatre, still called Chariots of the Gods for now. Uh, and still themed around the Chariots of the Gods for now. Obviously, we saw in the different concept art, we saw like some astronauts in like a, a dark space, which could be one of the multimedia attractions. Uh, we saw like a massive pyramid structure where guests could enter through uh, the small opening at the bottom. Uh, so again, that could be that could be an Egyptian-themed multimedia experience or some kind of maze game. Um, looked like that was part of the indoor theme park as well. So obviously a few of those picks for the indoor theme park. Obviously some different things like the dining and things like that. Uh, the multimedia, the multi-story car park will be somewhere around the, uh, the development as well. Honestly, man, this is going to be absolutely amazing to see. I really can't wait for this to go ahead. And uh, we're moving that one step closer to another big project going ahead. Um, you know, we've got two big projects to look forward to in England over the next few years. The London Resort down in Kent uh, near London and the Blackpool Central development. So, you know, two massive, massive developments here in the United Kingdom that we're really excited to cover here on Coast Chal YouTube channel. I will be there, hopefully, fingers crossed, for the opening day of the Blackpool Central development if this does get passed. Same with the London Resort. I want to get to the opening day of that uh, in 2024. Uh, a lot of things can happen between now and then, but honestly, that's my aim to get to the opening day of both London Resort and the Blackpool Central Development. So, very, very exciting there. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell, Keatley on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Blackpool-tastic day. Hashtag the Golden Mile.